this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm going to show you the newest fantasy that we're being expected to believe regarding the death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. In this uh, version of the Scalia fantasy, they're claiming that he had over a half dozen different very serious diseases. Yeah, he was going on a hunting trip. So let's look at this. Coronary artery disease, obesity, diabetes, these are the top three. Of course he is a smoker and that's a uh, cardinal sin in this country anymore. Presidio County District Attorney Rod Potton cited the letter Tuesday when he told, which came from the Supreme Court's doctor, when he told the Associated Press there was nothing suspicious about February 13th death of the 79-year-old jurist. You are a liar, sir. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Nothing suspicious, indeed. Pontin handed a copy of the letter from Rear Admiral Brian P. Monahan, the attending physician for members of Congress and Supreme Court. The letter was to Presidio County Judge Cinderella Guevara, who conducted a death inquiry by phone and certified Scalia's death. Letter dated February 16th said Scalia's many medical conditions led to his death, Ponton said. Uh, we don't know that because it, this was never properly investigated. In fact, it was never investigated at all. It's a whitewash. In the letter, Monaghan listed more than a half dozen ailments including sleep apnea, degenerative d joint disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and high blood pressure. COPD is either uh, emphysema or uh, chronic bronchitis. It doesn't say which one. Scalia was also a smoker in the letter side, which is, like he says, cardinal sin in this country. The AP filed a records request with the judge last week, but she did not provide a letter or respond to a reporter's phone message Tuesday. Dr. Mark Lackey, professor of cardiovascular medicine at Stanford University, said a 79-year-old man with these those conditions, especially coronary artery disease and sleep apnea, would be at risk for pen potentially fatal heart arrhythmia. He wouldn't be out hunting. This is the point. I wouldn't go out hunting if I had a cold. A lot of people do die in their sleep and they're found the next day. So you, sir, Mr. Mark Halaki, are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Conditions are also associated with pulmonary embolism and stroke, which could kill somebody very suddenly. Scalia's death, he said, was unexpected, but it sounds like it wasn't suspicious. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Justice's many ailments taken together were quite dangerous, said Dr. David Zick, a physician of internal and emergency medicine, at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Zick said he would advise a patient with those conditions who was still smoking to stop smoking first and then lose weight. Of course he was. Those are the two main things someone can do himself. The rest falls on the physician to medically manage blood pressure and make sure their blood sugar level levels are controlled well. Zick said he would also want such a patient to use a continuous pr positive airway pressure machine or CPAP at night for sleep apnea and make sure the heart and body aren't stressed while sleeping. A 
K. And they found a CPAP next to his body, but it wasn't hooked up and he was not turned on when he died. According to President, President Dio County Sheriff's Office incident report obtained late Tuesday by the Washington Post. Nothing appeared to be out of place around Scalia's bed, according to the report. Now here That is bullshit. This is juicy part. Here's uh, where they get further and further into fantasy. This is fantasy, folks. Three pillows were stacked to elevate Scalia's head. Now, it's gone from one pillow to three. One pillow to three. So they've changed the story again. A top pillow appeared to have toppled onto his eyes and forehead, but didn't appear to p position to impede his breathing, the report stated. So, let me get this straight. It toppled, it was stacked up, he had his head on top of him, and it toppled onto his head. Or maybe he didn't have his head on him, in which case he wasn't using it. Now, which is it? But it defied gravity and somehow made its way to his face. That is a lie. The suitcase was open and contained neatly folded clo clothing and the kitchen counter and rest of the blue stretch exercise band. Guevara, who was a county judge's top administrator in the area, area and obviously incompetent. Previously said she confirmed with, by phone with Sheriff Danny Dominguez and U.S. Marshal before certifying death. On the day Scalia died, he also, she also conferred with Monaghan by phone before determining cause of death. She's not qualified to do that. Scalia's death was handled in a similar fashion as the cases of other elderly people who died in Presidio County, Pond and Sud. So there you have it. Uh, we have a new pillow fantasy that these people are coming up with. This is fantasy, folks. I would not take this article seriously. This is fantasy. You're being lied to. Major, major cover-up. I'm not taking it back. There's a major, major cover-up going on here. I won't take it back. No way, no chance, no how. Of course, they're not going to listen to us, but that's the way it is. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.